This webinar will discuss the stakeholder consultation requirement for the Title IV Part A program, as well as how to document and maintain those meetings. During the development of the District Title IV Part A application, districts must engage in consultation with stakeholders in the area that are served by the district, as stated in ESEA Section 4106C1. Districts must also continue to consult with the stakeholders identified in order to improve and review the activities that are being supported with the district's Title IV Part A funds, as stated in ESEA Section 4106C2. Stakeholder group can be unique in each school district and the members will vary depending on the size of the district. Groups to be included are parents and families, students, local area leaders, district and school level educators, and behavior health professionals. All members of the group should be invited and given the opportunity to provide their input and their feedback at the meeting. It is a good idea to consider other ways rather than in person to conduct your meetings. You will need to maintain all documentation for each meeting that you do conduct. Some meetings may be via conference call or maybe by a digital platform. If in-person meetings are just not available or appropriate. Meetings should be promoted with some advance notice. That way, everyone has a chance to add the meeting to their schedule. Consider advertising meetings on social media or in newsletters. Please keep in mind that all members of your stakeholder group must be aware of these upcoming meetings. These meetings should occur more than just one time a year. These are not just an annual meeting. They should be conducted throughout the year. The meetings should actively involve all members of the group. Even if there is an event scheduled at the school, Perhaps go ahead and schedule your stakeholder meeting at the same day. Since attendance. May increase. Because those individuals may already be at the school for another event or another activity. For example, maybe at the same day as a parent teacher conference. Or an upcoming sporting event. And also consider staggering your meetings to different days and different times. That may allow more people to attend the meetings. For example, don't always have a meeting on the same day at the same time. Try to make those at different days and different times. Here is a sample of the program administration section in the GMAP application. In the top part of the application, you will check which members are involved in your stakeholder group. For example, parents, students, community members. Then after that section, you will see a narrative box. And in that narrative, you would need to be specific about your meetings. For example, the narrative should reflect how those meetings are going to be conducted, such as the platform. Are the meetings going to be online or in person? Um, please discuss the frequency of the meetings. 
How many times per year will these meetings occur? And also, how are you going to document the attendees at the meeting? For example, are you going to have a sign in sheet for everyone that attends? That way you will confirm that all members of your stakeholder group are present. It is important to remember all members of the group are given the opportunity to participate in your meetings. At the bottom of this page, you will select how do you plan to distribute your funds? Most districts select the greatest need identified by the LEA or the district. Stakeholder engagement is a component of our consolidated monitoring, and it is important to have documentation for the meetings and also for your attendees. It is important that the documentation accurately represents that all members have attended the meetings, including the student representatives. The meetings should occur periodically throughout the year, reviewing the Title IV Part A supported activities and the objectives that are tied to those activities. There should be documentation regarding the agenda, sign-in sheets, and meeting minutes, as well as how members were invited to the meeting. And please remember that this is not just a one-time, one annual meeting per year. These meetings should be ongoing throughout the year so that the stakeholder group can evaluate the activities that are supported with your Title IV Part A funds. If you have any questions regarding stakeholder consultation or conducting your stakeholder consultation meetings, please feel free to reach out to us anytime. Layla Brewer or Lee Bowling, we are always happy to help you and answer any questions regarding stakeholder consultation.